got Alexia Lenick back here on the program who's going to be taking on Alistair Overeem now on short notice at UFC St. Petersburg on April 20th. Alexi, how are you? Thank you. Good. I am happy for this fight. Uh, and thank you very much, uh, uh, UFC and uh, matchmaker UFC at Dana White for this. I think this was a good, tough fight. I, I agree, and we'll talk about the matchup in a second. But first, uh, when did you find out about this fight? Because the news just broke this morning. Yesterday evening, I got a, a message from UFC about this fight. I seen uh, five minutes, and I say it, yes. <laughs> Sign contract, uh, contract uh, tonight. Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm just, it, it's great to see you get this opportunity because, uh, you know, you were supposed to fight Walt Harris and he was ranked a lot lower than you. He wasn't even uh, in, the, in the top 15. Uh, how, how happy were you to, to get this opportunity? Because uh, you, you've really uh, amassed quite the record in the UFC. I think there's a uh, c- couple options. Uh, one, one of this, uh, this uh, uh, something happened with Alexander Volkov and uh, nobody can uh, change him in this fight. Uh, uh, some guys uh, not so big uh, ranking in ran- in ranking for this fight, and uh, maybe somebody uh, scared uh, this fight. Uh, really, Avrim is a very tough guy. He uh, K1 uh, champion. He very very cool guy and uh, have very big experience. You fought 69 times in your career. Which past opponent reminds you the most of Overeem in terms of opponents you fought? Maybe Marhan too. <laughs> Marhan, uh, K- K1 champion too. He uh, has very strong head. Uh, very, uh, he pun- his punch uh, almost every, every, every time KO. Um, maybe Marhan. Man, uh, no, so, so good uh, puncher, I think, Marhant mostly. But uh, uh, body Marhant and uh, Alistair Averim is very different uh, physically. Yes, yes, he is a, a lot different. Um, how, how have you had to adjust your training for the, this, this fight, which is a, you know, a week or so before um, you know, the, the matchup that you were supposed to have at UFC Ottawa? I don't have time for change camp. Uh, I prepare for big guy, for a puncher, uh, and that's all. <laughs> In uh, other, each other uh, sides, uh, this guy is different. Uh, this left standing and right standing. Uh, uh, Alistair Averim have very uh, dangerous knee, uh, very dangerous uh, Elbow and uh, uh, I train with El Saraverim. He very good. Uh, he have very good defense from uh, wrestling for, for grappling. Uh, he, even uh, Fabricio Verdum can't uh, choke or submission him or submit him. That's right. D- did you say you've trained with Alistair before? Yes, I trained with Alistair before. I have two camps with El Saraverim. Okay. So how much of an advantage do you think that is? Uh, you know, you must be very familiar with it. This uh, helped me and this helped uh, Alistair too. <laughs> we, we, we knew uh, about... Uh, he knew about me, I knew about him. I think uh, we uh, smart guys, uh, both uh, smart guys, and uh, both have uh, something uh, for our minds. For, for, for this find. How long ago did you train with him? When was this? I don't remember. Four years ago, maybe okay. four, maybe four years ago. Um, who have you been training with an American top team as far as training partners? Uh, many guys. Uh, Greg Hardy, uh, Andrew Orlovsky, uh, Sometime uh, Junior Dos Santos, uh, sometime other guys, maybe not so famous, uh, like uh, Niko Djurjevic, Serbian guy, uh, Marcelo Golm, UFC, fight, uh, UFC heavyweight fighter, uh, Said Soma, this young, strong guy, uh, and other guys. Okay. Um, two of those fighters you mentioned already fought Alistair. Have, have they been giving you any advice? Or will you look to them to, to get some advice? Because they've fought him already. Uh, 
Uh, I knew about this fight. This uh, one more challenge for me. Uh, maybe I can do do something else than that uh, guy. Uh, but I'm uh, not uh, look like a junior. My technique don't look like a junior. My technique don't lo look like Andrew Arlovsky. My 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 technique is very se se separate. Uh, but uh, Alistair is very very experienced uh, guy. Oh, yeah, very strong guy. I know American Top Team is a big gym, but do you ever see Colby Covington at all? Because uh, you know he's been making a lot of headlines lately. Yes, sometimes we we train together. For me, this uh, very good guys, uh, and uh, he have respect to me. I have respect for him. Uh, no, I can't uh, say it, uh, nothing negative about this guy. <laughs> really, really. Yes, yes. Okay, that that's good to hear. Um, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. Not yet. Uh, uh, my wife is 100 percent. Uh, she uh, last uh, 12 year always my uh, corner, and uh, my student Dmitry Sosnovsky. Uh, you UFC fighter, UFC heavyweight fighter, and uh, I think uh, somebody from American Top Team, maybe Co Conan, uh, Marcus Conan, maybe Steve Moko. Uh, this is my coach uh, wrestling or my coach on uh, Muay Thai, uh, uh, Luciano Macara Macarao, Macagon. Do you think you'll be able to submit Alistair in this fight? He hasn't lost by submission since May of 2005 against Fabrizio Rodum. Of course, I try submit, but uh, I knew this very, very difficult. <laughs> and he knew about this. <laughs> this uh, uh, very dangerous game. Uh, he knew about my grappling. I knew about his uh, striking. This uh, who who is better in uh, my uh, my game or he his game? Do you feel like if it stays standing, um, you would have a chance as well? We saw some of your stand up in in the fight with Mark Hunt. Yes, I think so, but uh, I don't think uh, this help for him. I prepare something uh, special for him. I hope uh, I I prepare. And, and do you feel like a win uh, over Alistair will put you closer to a title shot because you have a really good record in the UFC? Uh, yes, but I don't want to speak about this before fight. Uh, right. Let, let's speak about this after fight, no, not before. Uh, sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Usually, um, usually, usually, if you speak about uh, speak about it uh, before fight, this uh, may be uh, ended, uh, ending not very good. <laughs> right. Yes, I, I agree. When are you arriving in St. Petersburg? When? Uh, I think before, before seven, eight days before fight. How close is St. Petersburg to where you grew up in Russia? Five, six hundred miles. Oh, great. Okay. No, 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 not so far, far like, like now. <laughs> right. Are you expecting a lot of friends and family to come out? Uh, yes, but uh, usually I don't uh, communicate with anybody before fight. Okay. I my I have a target. No speak. No meet. No funny. Nothing. Right. Well, I appreciate you communicating with me and doing this interview, Alexi. Thank you so much. <laughs> I know this is uh, only you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I appreciate it. Uh, just just remind uh, people where they can find you on social media, and if you have any sponsors or thank yous, the floor is yours, sir. First time, yes, of course. Uh, I think uh, thank you, my team. My coaches, uh, my wife, and my coaches. Uh, this first time, this uh, almost my family. And uh, second time, yes, my uh, uh, my sport club is uh, Archangel Mikhail, uh, Archangel Mikhail, and uh, my sponsors A E T uh, M G <laughs> com company and um, my sport nutrition level up. Thank you very much, guys. We go together to win. <laughs>